What's up guys, today we're going to be going over my momentum approach to scalp trading the NASDAQ 100 futures. As you can see, there is a yellow wave that is continuously moving with the price action. This yellow wave is the indicator. You can find momentum indicators all over the place. There are many different versions. They all generally do the same thing, or at least somewhat close with moving averages and exponential moving averages and whatnot. Um, this one in particular, I do believe is based off of multiple different EMAs. It is actually market cipher B, which I have seen simply just pieced up into just the light blue wave. I am only using that and that only. The line that you see, the 50 and the negative 50, is what I have considered to be the overextended area or the overbought and oversold area. That is not where I want to trade. I want to try to avoid trades that are actually showing price action around that area just because of the nature of what I've found in the data to be a little bit more inconsistent. You can see the FD scalp momentum momentum system box on screen that stands for fast direction if they do not all align i do not have my a plus setup and i do not want to trade it's that simple after analyzing the momentum the next step would be to confirm the momentum is within the 50 and negative 50 area on the one in five minute time frame if they are not within the area between the negative 50 and the 50 i do not trade after this i would confirm that both the one minute and the five minute momentum are moving in correlation with each other. If I do not have that, I cannot trade. If the five minutes moving up, but the one minute's moving down, I cannot trade. They must be talking with each other for me to actually get in on a trade. After all of this has been confirmed, I'm looking to make my entry on the one minute bar print. I have to do this on bar print because that's when the data is confirmed on the momentum. This is very important. If the momentum is up, I'm going long if the momentum is down i'm going short and if the momentum is flat on either time frame i just simply stay out of the trade if the trade lasts longer than a minute and i am still in the trade i will close the trade early if the momentum goes out of favor or remains flat on that next candle print this is my current approach to scalp trading the nasdaq 100 Features. I wanted to share this with you guys to give a better understanding of what it is that I'm looking for, what my system even is, what the approach is, and just to give more transparency as to what I'm doing here. Letting you guys know what I'm doing also keeps me more accountable for following my system and not straying away from it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I am live every single weekday around 9 a.m. CST. Goodbye for now.